All right, y'all. Let's introduce the lab to you here. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to use uh, the virtual lab simulation, which is linked in the Schoology folder, and you're going to go through to figure out the relationship between current voltage and resistance. So the first thing you're going to do is figure out um, what variable you're going to be measuring for the lab, what variable is a light bulb going to affect, what variable is the circuit uh, is the current going to be, uh, is the, what variable of a circuit uh, will the battery affect? There we go, words. Uh, once you've done that, then you're going to figure out for uh, number two what you're going to be testing. So you're going to do two experiments. You're going to do one experiment to figure out the relationship between uh, current and voltage. Uh, you'll do the other one to figure out the relationship between current and resistance. So you're going to describe what it is you're going to do, and then you're going to list your independent and vari uh, dependent variables. Remember, independent variable is what is going to be changed by you. Dependent variable is going to be what is changed as a result of what you're doing. So then you're going to set up uh, two data tables here. So I'm going to briefly talk you through how to set these up. So what you're going to do is your, your two experiments are going to be um, current versus voltage and current versus resistance. Okay. Then you're going to make a chart. So you're going to be changing. Uh, you're going to be working with change, measuring the current and then changing the voltage and changing the resistance. So when you're doing the voltage chart, uh, you're going to put your voltage values in one column and then your current values in another. Now, these voltage values you will decide. You need to decide at least five different voltage values, at least five different voltage values, and then measure the current. And then the other thing you need to do is you need to write down what your resistance is going to be. When you're changing the voltage, you need to keep the resistance constant, and you need to write down what it is that you're using. Over here, you're going to do the exact same thing, but this time you're going to change the resistance and measure the current, and you need to tell me what the voltage is going to be because that's going to be held constant while you change the current. So go ahead and answer uh, one and two. Make your chart here for uh, the current resistance. Fill in the values you're going to use. Okay, uh, And then there's a quiz in the lab folder that you're going to use to check and make sure your answers for one and two are correct. So you can go ahead and do that now.